And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, Chef. After an intense elimination, Chef Ramsay's request for a volunteer to switch from the red team to the blue... Who's coming over to work with Chef Scott? <laughs> Stay where I am. Yeah. ...has both teams thinking. Listen, we're gonna have one extra person in our team, but you know what? We still stand our ground. I don't have conflict with the girls, but like, if someone's gonna go in there and be like fucking another fucking big-headed person, we're gonna have to set it straight. Yeah, that's gonna be very interesting, man. I think that if you were to leave and go over to the boys' team, you would be a better asset on their team. I mean, they would be so fucked up that they might bring you down, because it's three of them and one But then that means that you're weak, because even if they are that weak, then you should be able to rise above them. I'm not leaving. Like, I really finally feel like if Jen was out of here and went to the boys' team, I would finally have my voice back. So my strategy is the sooner we get her out of here, the better. I think it's the best thing for you to go over there and really prove to you, not to anybody else, but to yourself, Jen. Corey is a manipulative ass bitch, and she thinks I'm stupid. I don't weigh her opinion much as a feather in my mind. I still gotta sleep on it. After a night of deliberation, it's time for an answer. Red team, any volunteers to join Petroza, Lou Ross, and Bobby? What, no volunteers? Yes, Chef. Ah, Jen. Why? The red team is safe. I'm not a safe chef, and I want to see what happens over there on the blue side. Who's strong and who's not. So you're sniffing out your competition? Yes, Chef. Gentlemen, are you happy with that? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yeah. We don't know how she works in the kitchen, so we just see how she is. You know, is it, is it a blessing? Is it a curse? We don't know. Maybe it's purgatory. Jen. Yes, Chef. You go to the blue. Yes, sir. This is huge. If I can go over there and make a difference, it really ain't no stopping me. To stand alongside them? I'm happy about Jen leaving. It's like she's blocking your doorway with her presence, and you can't get around her no matter what you do. And so I'm glad that that roadblock is gone. All kinds of conditions put individual chefs on the spot to be creative. When we've run out of something, we have to improvise. And today, we're gonna do it in House Kitchen. Today's challenge, in the kitchen, You'll all come across 20 items, and it's up to each of you to create a dish. Four dishes for the red, and four for the blue. You must use all the 20 items as a team. And under no circumstances can any ingredient be repeated. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 20 items, 45 minutes from now. The chefs must work together to divide their ingredients, which include an assortment of meats, vegetables, seafood, citrus, and nuts. We've got oyster mushrooms, we've got walnuts. Three, four. We grabbed a piece of paper, a marker, and we just started writing down each ingredient so that cleared up any confusion. Come on, let's go. Here's a veal chop. Do Italian style, make it nice, yeah? I got a pot on this side for the France. I'm gonna get some butter on and melt it for my sauce. The red team is off and running. Meanwhile, over in the blue kitchen... Fish can stand alone, seriously. The new team member is making her presence known. Just grab what you need for your dish. Let's go. Is the potato used yet? Yeah. Yes, a lemon's used yet. I okay. need for, You didn't use the lemons? You don't even need pancetta. I'll use that. You grab these pancetta off the tray. Are you telling him or asking him? Jen started taking off every ingredient out there. I'll take this, I'm taking that. I take this. This, this is not gonna, it's not gonna click right. You gotta use the veal. I'll use it. You can use them, use them, go. 10 minutes into the challenge, the blue team is still dividing their ingredients, while the red team is already cooking theirs. Make sure you use every ingredient one time. I'm just gonna put this veal kind of like in a creamy sauce. You cut yourself? Yeah, real bad. I just took off the tip of my finger. Oh my God. We have a bad cut. I took off the tip. Max sliced the tip of his finger off, and I do mean like a half inch of his finger right off. And God, it makes me sick. What's wrong? I took off the tip of my finger. Let's get through the medic. Damn. Up. Damn, damn, damn. Just stay focused. Yeah, you have cut the top off. Woo. It's pretty 
bad, huh? Yeah, you cut the tip right off. See, I'm like, now with one down, we still gotta make that dish. And we keep going. The girls are down a person, and that could very easily cause us to lose. All right, guys, keep talking. This is Matt's dressing. What kind of sauces you got? With Matt's sidelines, the women rally to complete all of the dishes for their team. Ready, the um, pancetta's in the pan, guys. I'll keep an eye on it. Until Chef Ramsay brings up a good point. Where's the top of the finger gone? Oh, good question. Find his finger. I don't know where it is. Oh, what's this? I have no idea. Oh, I'm not seeing anything there. Check the pancetta he was cutting. Gross. Oh, fuck me. We just cooked Maddie's finger. I might use it. I'm serious. We just turned it into a 21 item challenge. Finger potato. Oh, God. With 30 minutes remaining, the red team works to keep on track. Keep going. With solid communication. Oh, this is Matt's dressing. Meanwhile, the blue kitchen is a little quiet. You guys got to communicate with uh, each other. He's got preserved lemons, you have preserved lemons, you have an onion, he has an onion. You have to use separate ingredients. Start working together. Understood, chef, thank you. Everybody broke down and everybody was just fitting for themselves. You know, we're like a wild pack of dogs. You know, on one bone, just thrown out there. Right, let's go, big buddy. All right, man. Here we go. Hey. Careful yeah. with it, yeah. Okay, try and keep that thumb out of the way. Yeah, chef. Yeah, and listen, you've still got nine left. I yeah. know, chef. I'm in so much pain with my thumb, but I don't want to lose the challenge because of me. Ten minutes left. Let's go. This veal is going to be very hard with my uh, chicken, so if somebody want to turn that veal into a surf and turf, maybe. OK, I got two red snappers right now. The best thing to do with that veal is a surf and turf with a fish. Yeah? Yeah, I will go with that. Bobby didn't want the veal, so Jay comes in and says, you should do a surf and turf. I hate doing surf and turf. That's not my thing. Two minutes to go. Let's go. Yes, chef. How's everybody doing on plating? Fine. Good, good, good. Rest the veal chop on top of the potato. Did we get that veal off the bone yet? Yeah. Come on, guys. Last minute to go. Here's your veal. Come on, Roseanne. That's enough. Come on, Rosie. 15 seconds to go. Dude, I don't know how I'm going to get that veal on top, dude. Just put it on there. 10. Walk it up, walk it up. 9. Come on, guys. 8. 7. Put the sauce on top. 6. Come on, Lou Ross. 5. How are we going to plate this? What's wrong? I'm like, Lou Ross, if you don't put this piece of veal on there, he's like, it just doesn't look right. And I'm just like, put the fucking veal on there. 3. Come on. 2. 1. Stop. Stop, Jen! You serve what you plated. Ah. Unbelievable. Was the veal cooked all the way? Yeah. Why didn't they just put it like right in the center of them two pieces of fish? Hey, it's, I don't know, you know what? You guys got your dishes ready, this is mine, it's set. I had a rustic dish presented to go. Putting veal next to red snapper will just throw off the taste. The veal was cooked, it just had to be thrown on that fucking plate. You rendered the veal in the sauce. Jen was telling me to say you rendered the fat off of it, but I, and for me to fucking lie and tell him that I used five ingredients, that's gonna haunt me forever. Right, did you use the time wisely? Yes, yes, yes. Did you use all 20 items? Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. First up, Christina and Petrosa, let's go. What is it? It's a fried snapper with crab meat, and then mm -hmm. I made a hollandaise-style sauce. Mm -hmm. How many items did you use? I used five, chef. Mm -hmm. I like that. Clever idea, using hollandaise with the eggs. Yeah, Very good. Petrosa. Yes. Explain. I have uh, a warm crab salad mm -hmm. with an onion souffle. Mm -hmm. How many items did you use? Five. Very brave. Doing a souffle, yeah? You attempt it, and it hits perfect. Thank you. I have to be honest, it's hard to decide one. You both are winners. One, one. Thanks. Piss off. Jen, nine finger mat, let's go. Ladies first. Jen, what is it? I did a pancetta wrapped and roasted quail. How many ingredients did you use? Uh, four, chef. Tastes nice. Thank you, chef. Matt, what is it? It's a pan roasted quail mm -hmm. on top of a regular. I used six ingredients, chef. Mm -hmm. 
It's really weird. You should have checked and pulled out the liver because it's tainted the flavor of the quail. Chef. What a shame. Well done, Jen. Thank you, Chef. Two one to the blue. Right, Jen. Oh, dear. Cory and Bobby. It's a Colombian sour lemon chicken with braised artichokes. How many items do you use? Three. It's very tasty, but somewhat a bit of a disappointment because you've only used three items, and it's plain. Yes. From you, with your experience, I expected a bit more. Yeah? Yep. OK. Bobby, what is it? Yeah, Chef, this is a um, walnut-encrusted buffalo mozzarella chicken with the um, balsamic glaze. How many items? Six. Six. The glaze is horrendous. There's far too much of it there. What a shame. Corey, well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. The score is tied, and it's down to the final two. OK, Roseanne, Lou Ross, let's go. But Lou Ross has more to worry about than the taste of his dish. Roseanne, what is it? This is a pan-seared veal bone in with a cream sauce, garlic, the onion, watercress, and I've oven roasted those potatoes. Six ingredients. Looks very clumsy. It's the kind of dish you want to take the dog out for dinner as well at the same time. You eat the meat and give the fucking dog the bone. <laughs> OK, Lou Ross. Yes, chef. What is it, please? Yeah, I did a red snapper with the oyster, oyster mushroom sauce. They use the preserved lemons mm -hmm. as to, uh, to, to deglaze it in a way. And then uh, from then on, um, just sauteed it. Well, mm -hmm. I like that. Snapper tastes lovely. Thank you, sir. Presentation is nice. Uh, how many items do you use? I use four, chef. Stupid ass. Four. Yeah, chef. Jen, four ingredients. Bobby, six. Petroza, five. Four. That's 19 ingredients used. One not used. Where's the veal? Chef, it was supposed to go on Lou Ross's plate. It's like a surf and turf was his idea for it. And at the last minute, he didn't put it on. Where's the veal? Veal's on the cottage bush, Chef. What did I say? It is the 20 item challenge. Yes, you did, Chef. 20 items is 20 items. The test of this challenge was to maximize on the ingredients given to you. Yes, Chef. Blue team, you failed miserably because you forgot to serve the veal. Back in line. I'm just blown away. Why didn't you put the veal on? It was right there. It was right there. Right, blue team, I'm going to put you to work. You're going to spend all day doing laundry. Tablecloths, dishcloths, aprons, jackets, serviettes. Washing, steaming, all by hand. Winners today, you're coming with me on a very exclusive photo shoot. Yeah! With a exclusive interview with In Touch magazine. Awesome! You've got the star treatment. Off you go. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I love you guys. This is the prize I wanted. I'm sorry, Petroza. It's all right, man. Fuck, man. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. <sighs> I had all my items cleared until the veal had to come into place. Veal was the only one that was missing. That was, that was selfish of him to do that. It was completely cooked. He just did not want to put it on his plate. Now they finna go on a photo shoot. Damn, you Ross. A whole day doing laundry. So he like fucked up. Like that. Stupid motherfucker. Fucking stupid. Woo! <laughs> oh, God, I just feel so diva-ish right now. You know, but I wonder what's going through Jen's mind, you know, like popping teams and then to, like, lose this huge, great prize. While the red team cleans up for their photo shoot with Chef Ramsay, the blue team just cleans. 
Laundry, yeah, that's the punishment. Let's hurry up because there are many more coming afterwards. Jen, please put a smile on your face, my dear. Hi guys, come over. Let me introduce you to uh, fabulous wow, editor. Chef. In touch, this is Kevin. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? So, are you ready? Yes, Chef. Right. Rosanna, I didn't know you could spruce up so well. Amazing. Well done, guys. Well Chris, done, my darling. Thank you. I wonder how Jen feels. Oh, ouch. Jen, I found your little friend. He's as feisty as you are today. Look at it. I'm pissed off with Lou Ross right now. Pissed off about being here having to do laundry. So no, I'm not going to be happy in doing cartwheels. Jen could be like a little volcano. And if that volcano goes off, it could mess up our whole little kitchen village. Absolutely fabulous. Hard to believe you girls cook for a living. Off you go. Have you got Matt's tummy tucked behind the door? Yes. Thank you. Oh, lovely. My daughter, Stephanie, is going to be very excited to see me in an In Touch magazine. It's such a wonderful feeling. OK, we got it. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Jen? Shall I see this lovely smile on your face? You ain't gonna be seeing no smile on no. my face. Are you gonna be bitchy the whole day? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. I think it's not fair for your colleagues. It's not fair that I'm here, so whatever. My dish was flawless, as usual. As fucking usual, my shit was flawless, so I don't give a fuck. Stupid ass. If she gonna call me names like that, like I'm an idiot, or like all these like stupid names, you know what I'm saying? It's a dud. I don't give a fuck who she is. I'm not scared. We lost this challenge today, and it was actually no fault of man. I don't blame anybody but Lou Ross. Whatever, dude. I'll take the blame for it. Let her get mad. Let her wallow away her sorrows over a fucking loss. I don't care. Here they are. How's it going? Hey guys. Jen, don't look too happy. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, thanks. When the girls came in, they had makeup on, hair done, and I didn't really look at them. I didn't feel like talking to anybody. I just felt like being to myself. Jennifer is outcasting herself from the rest of the group. You can't hold a grudge like that. Jen's gonna have to shake it off. We can't afford to lose tomorrow dinner service. It could be a dangerous game she playing. The last dinner service in Hell's Kitchen was a disaster. If the newly reshuffled teams want to win, they'll have to work together. Lou Ross, why don't you just sit your pan right there? Freaking Jen, shut the fuck up already, dude, you know? Lou Ross, why don't you go ahead and add the rest of this flour? Last time the door was overworked. You don't be overworked as long as you put enough flour in there the first time. Jen and Lou Ross have that dumbass bickering back and forth. You can't be worried about the baby shit. You can smell the love in here. Oh, man, it's incredible. While the blue team struggles to get along with Jen, the red team is getting along just fine without her. Cool. Now I'm happy, happy, happy. I kind of feel like we were bullied. I feel like the bully's gone. Yeah, the bully is gone. You're right. I'm pretty confident dinner service will go better without Jen there. Now we don't have the big bully on our team telling us what to do. The key is to work together, and that's how the red team's going to win. OK, two minutes, please, guys. Let's go. How are we feeling? Good show. Red team, what's it like not having Jen? Great show. Blue team. Are we working together or against each other? Today, we bonded together, and we're working together as a team. Great, because tonight, we have got two of America's finest food critics. Be warned, their reviews will help me determine which team has won tonight's service. And here's the really scary thought. I do not know where they're sitting, but in my world, 
every table's a critic's table. So I'm going to be over everything, I swear to God. You're cooking my standards. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Right, sections set up, yeah? Let's go. Well, Christina say, how do it feel without being great? Yeah. Oh, hell no. The minute I switched over to the blue team, them bitches was backstabbing me. Now I'm just an enemy. It is on tonight. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. All right, so guys, we are one. We are one. Come on, girls. Let's go, Matt. We all know how to cook. Just got to rock it out. OK. JP, open house kitchen, yes? Roasted scallops. I think I'm gonna go through the The diners have arrived in Hell's Kitchen, and so have the critics. So let's take one from the two kitchen. So how about a scallop from each kitchen? Okay, and then and then we'll do a risotto from each kitchen. The teams will be going head to head as the critics have ordered the same dishes from each kitchen. Up first, the red team. One scallop, one risotto. Yes. Yes, yes chef. Christina, how long are the scallops? Scallops going down right now. With the critics coming out tonight, I will step up and I'll lead the team, just making sure that everything goes right. Does anybody need a hand? Now that Jen is gone, this is my time to shine. Come on, please. Corey. Yes, yeah, Chef. Very nice, that risotto. Yes. Thank you. Go, please. Corey and Christina's appetizers have made it past Chef Ramsay. But he's not the only one they have to please tonight. Everything that's coming out now is from the... It's from the red side. It's from the red side. Yeah, I like this. It has texture, it has flavor. The red team's appetizers have been well received. Now, it's up to Jen and Lou Ross to deliver for the blue team. Blue Kitchen, on order. One risotto, one scallops. Yes, chef. Make it count, Jen, let's go. Are you ready, Lou Ross, with the scallops? I'm about to play it up right now, Jen. I messed up hard on yesterday's challenge. If we lose tonight, who's going to be in the chopping block? Me. I have to cook like it's my last day. Where's the risotto, please? Go into the window now. Where's the scallop? Yes, chef, it's coming. Where is it? You got 30 seconds, otherwise I'll send it Scallop's back. Scallop's up right now, chef. Scallop's up right now. Come on, Lou Ross, get him up, please. Come up now, right now. Are they ready? Yes, chef, they're ready. Hey, Lou Ross. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, fucking hallelujah. Those scallops are perfect. Make sure every scallop comes out like that now, yes? Yes, chef. OK, pick up, please, go. This is the blue team scallops. Darn good. What a good tasting dish. No. 45 minutes into dinner service, the red team has completed over half their appetizers. Service, please. Now, the pressure is on Matt to impress Chef Ramsay with his filet. OK, two beef, one wedding, one salmon. Yes, Chef. You. Come here, you. Come here, round here. Look yes. at those bits of beef there. Yes, you Chef. You got one fucking large one, one medium one, then one small one. Yes, Chef. What are you doing? Matt's meat, all three were totally different. Are you serious? That's not good enough for me. So, there you go. There's a daddy, there's a mummy, there's a fucking baby. Supposing that's a critic's table. One critic's got that, one has that. Supposing that's medium well. What's gonna happen to that when so it's shrink, well? chef. The tenderloin, they really do shrink when they cook. I know better than that. I'm an idiot. Look at it. We're fucked. Yes, I'm chef. What did I say to you? I'm looking for everything. Yes, chef. Got it, chef. I'm not pissing around now, huh? I know, that's chef. That's bullshit. Yes, chef. Hey, Mr. Inconsistent, wake up. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. Hey, let's wake up, guys. Especially me. While Matt tries to control his shrinkage, the blue team is eager to show Chef Ramsay that they can keep up the good work. Two Wellington, two salmon. Patroza. Yes. Three minutes? Three minutes. I really wouldn't do that if I were you, Patroza. Lou Ross still got a good three minutes. Hey, Patroza, why did you cut the beef now? Damn, what in the hell is Patrosa over there doing? Patrosa sliced her beef tenderloin three or four minutes before he was supposed to. And that, you know, drains out all the juices and everything. You're shouting off three minutes, yet the goodness is in there. That's called flavor. What are we gonna do, serve that to the customer? Nah. Why'd you cut the beef now? I, I was just, I, I couldn't help myself from looking inside. 
I just couldn't contain myself. So why don't you just touch it? You're right, I should have never have cut it. I'm hoping it doesn't affect our team. And supposing it's for the fucking critics. Supposing it's for the critics. Yeah, critics, critics, critics. You just screwed your team. Hurry up, because Petroza's cut the fucking beef. Ah, 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 it's nice the beef already. You gotta give me one more minute on that, boy. One more minute. Petroza. Yes, chef. Hey, are you done? You finished? No, I'm not finished. How long in the sandwich, Lou Ross? You have to give me one more minute, Petroza. I'm ready, though. As soon as you can put it up, okay? Petroza, you deserve to lose. Lewis, I'm ready, I'm ready. You deserve to lose. I'm ready. Stick. It's Critics' Night in Hell's Kitchen, and 55 minutes into dinner service, the customers have finished their appetizers and are waiting for their entrees. I'm hungry, and I want to eat right now. Hurry up, because Petroza's cut the fucking beef! Come on, guys. Everybody stop panicking. Lewis. I'm ready, I'm ready. to Stop panicking. Let's get it back together, Petroza. I'm plating up salmon. All together now, guys. There's the two beef right here. Putting on the pass. Service, please. Go, please. Let's go. Two beef, one Wellington, one chicken. You're up. Away! Next ticket, you fucking idiot! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Petroza, come on, man. Don't burn out on me. Don't burn out. About three minutes to the risotto, one salad, one crab. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. No problem, Chef. So you're there. You're in front. It's got a, a fucking treadmill. Come on. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. While Jen steps up in the blue kitchen, over in the red kitchen, Corey is taking the lead. Come on, girls. Let's go, Matt. We have this. Let's move it along. Salmon, how long? Christina, coming in my hand right now. OK. Here's the salmon. Oh, fucking hell. Christina. Yes, Chef. Salmon, nice that side. Turn it around, you got a big, dried, overcooked piece of shit. Sorry. Salmon, how long? I'm gonna need seven minutes. Seven minutes? Salmon is a very quick process. It takes a couple minutes. It is not that difficult. Christina, can you do two things at once? Uh, I've got two entrees and some scallops. If you can't control two things at once, you should no, be here. No, I, I told her I couldn't. Yeah, control. shut up, will you, yeah? Sorry. I really fucking mean that from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, Shut yeah. up. Get your salmon on now. It's working in the pan right now. One minute, Christina, come on. My timing was so wrong. It was like I all of a sudden hit a train wreck. Guys, let's not freak out. Let's go. Christina, I want it now. Hurry, Hurry up. Hurry up, madam. Good. Finally. You fucking lazy cow. Service, please. Tonight's not your night, is it? No, chef. Thank you, my dear. The salmon has a vague flavor, but not a great flavor. It's very uh, peppery. The critics are not exactly raving over Christina's salmon. Now it's time for Lou Ross's dish to be reviewed. Two salmon, how long? Lou Ross, what's happening back there? Come on! Going up with the salmon. Let's go. Service, please. More flavorful. Yeah, very nice. Very... That's just a nicely churned order of salmon. The blue team has served nearly all of their entrees and impressed the critics. Meanwhile, the red team like I'm starving. has made an impression as well, and it's not a good one. The red side, of, not one of them has food on the table. We're running behind. For how long? Matt's up now. Let's move it, move it. I'm at the window. He's at the window to get the bed job. Yeah, come on. How are you doing, Roseanne? Where's the fucking garnish? That's burnt. Hey, madam, come here. Why are you burning veg? It was an accident, Chef. Roseanne just doesn't know how to organize herself. She gets herself worked up and burns garnishes. The beef is cooked, and now we still haven't got the garnish. And it screws up the rest of the team. You're not trustworthy on service. I'm nervous with you in the kitchen. We haven't got the garnish, Roseanne. I have to tell you a confession. This is the last order of gnocchi that I had, and I'm going to be short in the last order. Oh. oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chef. Oh, I'm I sorry you're here. Oh, fucking hell. Carrot puree, for how long? Chef's call for carrot puree. Carrot puree? Carrot puree. Carrot puree, let's go. Where is it? Where's the carrot puree? Roseanne. I'm running out of ca carrot puree. Oh my God almighty. Fuck me. How about some carrot, Chef? I'll give you baby carrots, Chef. Carrots or mash? I got plenty of mash. While Chef Ramsay takes a moment to reflect, the blue team forges ahead. Guys, we got this last little push. Let's roll. Bobby, I got two Wellingtons coming up and two salmon. OK. You got your mashed carrots, Bobby? Yes, ma'am. Where's the Wellington? Yes, Chef. Here it is, Wellington medium and beef. They're beautifully cooked, Petroza. Thank you, Chef. Heat the momentum up. Yes, Chef. It's remarkable. We are flowing well together. We're like super blue. 
The blue kitchen has proven to Chef Ramsay that they can cook. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... Chef Matt, from here, they look raw. They look raw! The red kitchen is a disaster. I got it, Chef. Can you get the beef back in the fucking oven? Matt, how long? I don't know anymore. Come on, Matt, bounce the fuck back. Fuck, man. Let's go, Matt. Let's go get it out. Beef chicken Wellington, how long? Coming to the pass. Oh, uh, fuck me, here we go. Chef Matt, there's the beef. That looks like a pile of shit. And you had the nerve to give me that there with the critics out there. Hey, hey, fuck, you serve it. Let's see what standards you've got. Serve it. No, Chef, serve I won't it. Stand serve there. it. Stand look like a knob. I won't serve it. Look at the customer. Chef, I won't serve it. Hey, you, come here. You as well. Hey, you. You're just as bad. Hey, would you serve that to a critic? Definitely not. Would you serve that to a critic? Would you serve that to a critic? No, Chef. Yeah, would you serve that to a no, critic? Chef. So, let's get this right. You won't serve it. But you give it to me. Fuck off, will you? Getting kicked out of the kitchen by Chef Ramsay was the hardest thing ever. I failed myself, and I failed Chef Ramsay, and I feel horrible. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself right now. <laughs> Fucking shit. Sure, Jen will be happy. I am doing my best. I'm trying to lead the team, but like. You know, like, I could have finished tonight. I fucking did my station, I did desserts, I'm jumping around and looking like an idiot, you know? And I don't appreciate it, like, I'm just fucking sick of it, I really am. It sucks, dude. Bobby, Petroza, Red Kitchen, let's go. Okay, I need a Wellington, a beef, and a Dondori, please, yes? Am I happy that the girls got kicked out and we had to go over there and save the day? <laughs> Coming up. Last ticket, guys, yeah? Well done. Quick, come on, go, 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 come on, go. Two brulee, let's go. Okay, good. Well done. Thank you. Turn everything off. What a mess. The blue team was so much better than the red team. It was an embarrassment. Let me read out what the critics said. Blue kitchen. Food was well arranged. Really good. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Red team. Food, sloppy. Lacked any passion and any flavor. The exact same menu and a complete opposite experience. Corey, solid performance. The best of the worst, clearly. Get back to the dorms and nominate two of your team for elimination. Piss off. I am the only one that did a good job in the kitchen. It was just not good, you know? It was definitely hell tonight. Matt was really fucking up with me. Embarrassing. I'm not here to be, like, trying to throw Matt under the bus or anything. I'm just saying, like, it is what the fuck it is. As far as a team goes, nobody wants to step up and really accept responsibility. I think Roseanne and I both had shitty services, and we both deserve to go out there. I think she's fucked up more than I have. I mean, repeatedly. Roseanne and Matt should definitely go up. The other people on the team are just making excuses right now for themselves. They're like little children. I, I want you to know, I didn't give up. I, nothing was going right. I mean, honestly, tonight I put all three of you up there. And I just don't want to hear anybody else's excuses. And I've heard them all. I've made my decision, and um, I'm not really interested in hearing anything else. Okay, Corey, first nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Matt for his performance tonight. My second nominee is Roseanne. I really, really like her as a person, but I never want to work with her in a kitchen ever again during service. Thank you. No problem. I agree, but there's somebody else I want to step forward as well because she had one bad service, and it's not her first. Christina. Roseanne and Matt, step forward, please. All three of you. Christina. Yes, Chef. 
Why should you stay? Chef, tonight's service was really bad. I know I can do better, but I think I have had good services. How long have you been cooking? Three years. Do you not think it's time for you to go back to culinary school? No, Chef, not at all. Aren't you out your depth? Absolutely not, Chef. I'm a fighter, and I want to be here. I really do. Roseanne. Yes, Chef. Truthfully, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I really believe that I need to stay in Hell's Kitchen because the more I stay in Hell's Kitchen, the more I'm learning here. I'm 33 years old, and I have the stamina and energy of a teenager, and I do not give up. OK, Roseanne, back in line. Matt. Yes, Chef. Third time here. The writing's on the wall. Three strikes and you're out? No, it's not for me, Chef. I'm nauseated by my performance tonight, and I can't believe that was me up there. I admit today I cook like a jerk. You're done, really, aren't you? No, I'm not, Chef. I'm never done. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Roseanne, take your jacket off and go back to your daughter. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. It's been a pleasure and an honor. Good night, my darling. I will definitely go back into the culinary business because it's a passion for me. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm definitely going to tell my daughter that no matter what happens to you in life, you just keep on trying, dust yourself off, and never stop going for what you want. Christina, you've been warned big time. You're going to have to bounce back. Yes, Chef. The only way I can stay is if I make the biggest comeback in Hell's Kitchen history. I feel like my days are numbered. And you, you're on borrowed time. Yes, Chef. You can call me a fucking donkey all day, fat pig. You can talk about my balls being small, me shitting my pants, but I'll never give up. Now there's only three of you left. There's no room for error. Good night. Yes, Chef. Blue team, well done. Thank you, Thank chef. you chef. They can all go home right now. Everybody, swipe them all out, them 40 ass bitches. That's what they get. If the size of one's mouth corresponded to the size of one's talent, then Roseanne would have been a world-class master chef. Unfortunately, she just has a big mouth.